Guys, I'm back here in the Pelunino area. I was here before. It was more at night though when the sun went down. However, I, ooh. However, I didn't do it any justice. I'm coming back just to show, this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, man. There's a lot of history, a lot of things to see, especially if you're into that. You know, cathedrals, churches, there's a lot. But I'm just gonna show you guys a few of them. Here goes the first spot, right next to the elevator. Monumentum da Cruz Caída. I think that's how you pronounce it. Fallen Cross Monument. This cross is in the location of a church that was demolished back in the day. So this fallen cross represents that. There it goes right there, and right next to it, you can get some amazing views. Was the bay right there, the market, which I forgot to mention in one of my other videos. Um, this was a slave port, you know, this city. That's why this was the first capital of Brazil. And that's where they housed a lot of them when they arrived in Mercado Modelo. So it does have a grim past, just like this whole area. Very colorful. Vibes are a little different during the day. If you can't tell. And it's actually not that hot out right now. It's pretty, feels pretty good. You got the breeze blowing from the, from the bay. All right, next one is this statue's monument right here. Zumbi Dos Pilates. And basically, Zumbi was known for being a warrior. And he spent most of his life, or a lot of his life, trying to free or helping freed slaves. So they have a monument of him right there. He was doing it until he was he was caught and he had his uh he was beheaded. You keep moving forward, we have the Casa do Carnaval de Bahia. You know Carnaval is very popular here, very important. And then this this place shows the history of it. So let's see if uh, it's open if we could check it out. I must say, this museum was more interesting than I expected. When you first walk in, you'll encounter a ton of books that tells the history of Salvador. After that, you'll proceed to an interactive room with different sections that explains the origin and history of the Carnaval in Bahia. And you'll be given a tablet that explains the information in both Portuguese and English. And so make sure to bring your own headphones if you don't want to use the ones that they offer. But it's interesting, it's not boring, they have music, they explain some of the singers, the dances, all the influence, you know, the Portuguese, African, the indigenous influence. After that, you'll walk up to the next level where there are two cinemas with these huge screens and they show the local dances. So if you want to learn the steps, you can do that there. And then up above on the top floor, you have a rooftop cafe. So you can order some snacks, have some drinks, or having views of the bay. So all in all, I would visit this museum if you can. It's, like I said, it's it was better than I expected. So we're in the Largo de Polino, Pelodino. You got the bands. If you want to play with the, the band, you can. Take pictures with them. People chilling, post this. A little dark, you probably can't see from the photos. Let's try it. And you guys to the left, you may see a Michael Jackson photo. Because in one of the videos, it was shot over here. The Museo de Gastronom de the food here in Bahia. It's a museum and restaurant at the same time. So I'm gonna check out the restaurant first because I haven't eaten. It's like three o'clock right now. So let's check it out. Hey, hey. Alright, so the buffet, it's a buffet, and I think they have students here who prepare it. So we're gonna see uh, how it tastes. Hey, Botaji. Here it goes. I'm not gonna get too close, but it's supposed to be the typical food of Bahia. Alright, let's try it out. 
So just like any other buffet, they had a lot to choose from. I tried to get a little bit of everything. Beans, uh, rice and shrimp, fish moqueca, a little bit of veggies, and then farofa. In the beginning, when I first tried this, I didn't like it, but it's growing on me. So this is the first round. So like I was saying, I think this is a school and they have like students that prepare at the buffet. And then there are different areas. So you have this. Then you have this church. I'm not even gonna try to try to pronounce it but basically it was created by the by the slaves here so they can have their own place of worship let me uh, get a better view there we go right there so we uh -huh. Ah, okay, so here they take photos for tourists if you want. Want to take some photos? It's right across the street from the uh, from the church. Oh, they got a big camera right there. Hey, uh, ah, it's the photographer. Ah, okay. They got the camera right there. All right, so they work all day, all the way to the night. Okay, here goes the workers. Look at her. She's working as well. Here we go. Oh. Mais ou menos quanto custo? Costa? Quanto custa? Ó, oh, a unidade da foto é 20 reais. Cada foto você é pelo valor de 20 reais, a foto digital. E a partir de 10 fotos, abaixa o valor para 15 cada foto. Ok, here go the prices right here. Até 20 reais por one photo, and then they have like packages. So obviously, the more you purchase, the cheaper it becomes. So there you go right there. All right, então muito obrigado. Obrigado, obrigado. Last stop on the trip is this right here. I believe it's the most popular basilica in Salvador. And then as you see, if you get up close, let me get up close real quick. They have these ribbons. I believe this, the legend is you tie the ribbon either to this fence or to your wrist. And when it falls off, your wish will come true. So when you tie it, make sure you make a wish. And there you go. Here goes some views. Pretty sure I live somewhere over here.